Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're looking at arguably Tarkov's most powerful weapon, the Sig Spear that was added in patch 0.14. Why the spear is so good fundamentally comes down to four key points. Firstly, the ammunition is great. Secondly, the access to that ammo is easier than other top level weapons. Thirdly, recoil and the handling of the gun itself. And finally, its fire rate. This particular combination of features means that the spear should outperform pretty much every other weapon in the game, with one specific downside, cost. Because the unlock to buy it for about 270k equivalent from Peacekeeper 4 is only accessible after finishing Lightkeeper's 10th task Trouble in the Big City, nearly everyone will need to get it from the flea market instead if they want to try this weapon out. It is fortunate that the spear is available on the flea, but honestly this is fine balance wise because of how few sources there are to get it. Marked rooms and rarely spawning on rogues are practically the only ways to get it semi-regularly, meaning that it ends up costing over 500,000 rubles for the base gun most of the time. While the trader version comes with the new Sig Tango 6 T-Scope and a suppressor, the flea market version is nearly guaranteed to be stripped of these parts, meaning that you'll have to spend a bunch more to make it usable. Builds for the spear itself are actually pretty straightforward, if costly, because there aren't all that many parts for it currently. I've been using the Tan Cobra foregrip with the Growl pistol grip and an ARE tube with the new Daniel Defense buttstock and an ergonomic pad over the top. This is because the spear's recoil is so good compared to basically every other weapon of a similar caliber that there's more value in the new recoil system by focusing on a balance of ergonomics and recoil leaning more towards ergo. With a full magazine and the default Sig Tango optic, the weapon only weighs 5.3 kilograms, which is actually really quite good. And one of the best parts about the introduction of the spear is the 25 round Lancer mags that it shares compatibility with the SR25, MDR and RSAS. These only reduce ergonomics by 3 overall and make the guns that use it much more competitive as 20 rounders do feel a little tight sometimes, especially with full auto guns and definitely whilst playing solo. If you really want to tweak the stats of the spear to their max, which you may well do given you're spending at least half a mil on it anyway, the handguard takes the Magpul cantilever mounts for plus one ergo on both sides and the Geisley rings plus top cap gives another point. Of the meta optics, the Voodoo is slightly better on Ergo than most of the others to finish off this masterpiece. So with this build at 64 recoil and 61 ergonomics, comparing this to something like the 308 MDR shows the amazing performance of the spear, which is much closer to an M4 than a high powered rifle. However, the MDR only fires at 650 RPM, whereas the spear matches the M4 in fire rate 2 with 800, which makes it particularly lethal in CQB as well. The only weapon that really gets close to this is the SA-58 with 700 RPM, but that has its own challenges around recoil, ergonomics and weight as I've documented previously. With the gun itself insanely good to use, let's take a look at the ammunition. As I said at the start, this is another place where the spear is actually great as an endgame weapon. You can buy both available cartridges directly from Peacekeeper 3 and Peacekeeper 4. The first, SIG FMJ, performs very similarly to 762x51's BCP FMJ, with a touch less damage at 80 but one more pen at 36, the latter of which is arguably more important due to its sensitivity against class 4 armour in that range. Costing $4.45 from Peacekeeper 3, this is a serviceable round, but with the investment required for a gun like the Spear, I recommend using the better version which is SIG Hybrid. This cartridge is what makes the spear so absolutely and totally meta. 72 damage and 47 pen is like a turbo version of 762 BP, cutting through class 4 like butter and dealing with class 5 pretty easily as well. But of course, it's not just the stats that make a bullet usable, and the fact that SIG Hybrid can be bought for rubles 100 at a time from Peacekeeper 4 is incredible given its power in decimating players. Although it is expensive equating to something like 1400 rubles a bullet, the ability to not craft it and buy it each reset means that you can actually stockpile a decent amount to run raids with, which is just not the case for many other top level ammos. Between the weapon itself, the mods and the ammo, you are facing down 3 quarters of a million rubles probably, simply for the weapon system without taking into account any armour or other gear whatsoever, so a million plus kit is kind of difficult to avoid. If you're looking for something incredible to use in the endgame when money is no object though, the spear is really the obvious choice in my opinion. So finally, let's check out a few clips of this bad boy in action. Ooh. That's intriguing. It, it sounded like it was from further away. I'm sure what to make of that. Because I thought the scab was shouting at me. 
But then I guess not. That exit is shut, it's just good to know. Problem is, am I going to have to push up and fight someone? I don't really want... Go and see. I don't want to just like run down the street and get... Oh, guy. Yeah, I believe it probably is, but um, doesn't hurt to be cautious. Ever do more testing on the step bug? I did do some offline. Yeah, um, it's not inconclusive. I wouldn't say I 100% know. I don't know enough to make a video about it. Let's put it that way. I want to do some more on it, but I kind of got bored testing it. By the way, that spear felt absolutely insane to shoot full auto. So. I think right around the back. Oh, interesting. Could that be the boys? Scavs, normal scavs do spawn in there. I've genuinely not seen them yet. Is there a door over here? I've, I've not, I've not fought these boys. Careful, because they'll rush. Oh, I don't want them to rush. I'm gonna run out of ammo and die. Okay, let's give it a go. Sending in There's one in that end room. One of 25s. I do have a 25 in. But I can only buy four. There's one around the corner for sure. Kind of annoying this. If I can get another nade. <clears throat> going on? I love hunting bosses. Right. in this one. Not a spawn empty.
going for a scab, that guy. The dude, like, right above me. I don't really know what I can do other than just like dim up and just try to run. The gun's cracked, honestly. Really, really good. I'm gonna move up to here, just have a better look. On this side, isn't it? I mean, maybe we die here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that guy went. I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure we heard him before. Meandering about. I think his buddies ran past. Yeah. Uh, didn't I kill two or did I only kill the one? All I would say is it's very unusual for the, the teammates to, like, leave. Their friends. Probably a scab, but that does sound like it was a scab actually. Verdict on the spear? I personally think the spear is insane. It's insanely good. As usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, and as always, have fun in your raids.